Hello everybody, my name is Garrett London, Technical Enablement Architect here at Postman. I'll be touching upon the revamped private API network in our new version 10 release of the Postman platform. Organizations sometimes struggle with their internal APIs if they can't be discovered easily, as well as integrated with seamlessly. As the number of APIs in an organization increases, it becomes more difficult to manage the catalog of URLs, documentation, and associated resources. The lack of visibility sometimes leads to duplication of effort and work and more synchronous communication between teams. The private API network within Postman is the place for all your organization's APIs and more importantly, API artifacts. Collections, workspaces, environments, and APIs live in one place and enable anybody within your organization to get up to speed quickly without having to navigate many different websites, Slack or Teams threads in order to collaborate. Now, let's dive into some of the functionality. Welcome to the Private API Network. This is gonna be the one-stop shop for your enterprise organization when it comes to consuming and producing APIs. I'm gonna start and navigate over to the overview this is the directory of all important APIs in your team. You can see all the folders that people have created. You can actually filter by APIs, collections, and workspace types. You can see who added this resource to the private API network, as well as search. What I've done is I've searched for one of the folders that I've created, London Banking Corp. We can see all the resources within this folder, and there's a workspace associated. Watch count is very important to see who's actually watching your resource, as well as viewing this workspace and looking at the associated documentation. If I navigate to the API that was added, I can see the specific API's documentation and that there was a release note associated with this version of the API, as well as a collection that's associated with the API. I can view fork counts on the collection to see who's forking this from the private API network, as well as navigate directly into the collection itself and view code snippets, example requests, and associated environments. If I wanna get a higher level overview of the API itself, I can look at the API definition, whether that's an open API specification or another format and I can view the paths and associated HTTP actions. Now, the API network manager role is at the team level. This can be set as somebody who knows the company and its API landscape very well. They're gonna be in charge of governing documentation standards, uh, preventing duplicate effort and uh, resource sharing, not allowing projects that aren't uh, ready for consumption through to that private API network, as well as data leakage from unsuspecting teams. Once the API network manager is set, they can view the pending requests. As you can see, uh, there is an API that was requested 23 minutes ago. Uh, here's the description, and I can either approve or deny this request, and I can also view it in the workspace to make sure that it's actually properly fit for our private API network. This customer API is already in the private API network in the London Banking Corp, so I'm going to deny that request. I can provide a reasoning, duplicate, and deny. The private API network is the best place to share and consume APIs within your organization. It makes it very, very easy to collaborate discover and build APIs across teams and across large enterprise organizations where there could be hundreds or thousands of APIs. I can actually click on a folder, add to network, and I can search multiple different types of resources that I wanna add. Previously, if you were an API network user, the private API network, you can only add APIs. Now we're able to add workspaces, collections, as well as APIs. You can associate environments with that as we saw and really touch upon every single resource within the Postman platform 
to make it very, very easy for somebody who doesn't even know your workspace may exist to navigate directly there and integrate with your API. To find out more about using Postman Enterprise, please visit our website, postman.com enterprise. I'm Garrett London, and we'll see you on the next episode of Postman's Enterprise Enablement Series.